Let's talk about sword, axe, and spear. Hey, and it is Sister Grenier. Hopefully y'all are having a great day. I am having a great day. We're back today in Venture Tale because we're going to be going over three of the melee classes. And that's going to be our lovely sword, our lovely axe, and the bane of my existence and most people's existence in the game, uh, spear. If you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the like button to the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. And uh, let's get into the video. So first things first, I am going to let y'all know something. Big secret. Big secret. Um, these were not the most enjoyable for me to level up, but I do want to give y'all some guides and some pointers on where to look elsewhere on YouTube as well for some builds after I get done talking about the classes themselves. So let's get on into each of them, kind of talk about their perks, why these are good to level up to max and some of their items. So let's go ahead and start on over with Axe. So Axe, it's level 15 perk is blade type weapons get a plus 5% weapon damage. So that means anything with a blade associated with it. That means sword. That can mean great sword. That can mean pull arm. Spear. This encompasses a lot of other classes that'll help you get a lot of damage bonuses. So this is going to be something that if you plan on, say, going into great sword, this is going to be something you're really going to want to focus on because that's going to give you some extra damage. And it's really going to help you out a lot. Uh, the level 30 skill is plus 5% max health. If you plan on being a tank of the tanky tanks, this is how you were able to get 2k plus health. So I would, this is just a class, one of those classes that I would recommend getting up to max. May not have to be your first one, but definitely something to get up because it's going to give you an edge. I mean, 5% max health can be 50. It's 50 extra hit points, which is maybe an extra tick of poison, maybe an extra tick of fire. Just depends on what class it is. Now, overall, with Axe, the big thing with it is up until it's level 30, its main ability is a kick. You kind of kick things in the face. Uh, it does more damage than the lovely swords. So that's kind of the other thing for it. I know there is people that dual wield level 30 Axe. That is entirely up to them. But overall, it... <sighs> There's other melee classes if you want to go with them, but it is still a strong competitor if you want to do a wield. Now, this is the first time I'm going to mention, I'm going to go over all the items and the spells that you can be using with this class. What I would also recommend is I'm going to have a link to a YouTube channel. Now, this particular YouTuber puts builds and she's not actually a YouTuber. She is a helper from the Discord that puts these together for y'all to go and take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and put her link down below. Uh, y'all can go check her out. She has some amazing videos. I would highly recommend checking out her builds that she showcases because uh, she has no damage runs as a melee build. So, uh, sister ain't pulling that off this century. So, I just want to bring that to y'all's attention. <laughs> so, whether this be sword, this is something that you can encompass with either one of the weapons I'm talking about today. So, bone necklace is going to give you that weapon damage early on. We've got Rabbit's Foot. This is going to give you that crit chance. This is going to help a lot with damage, especially, especially early on. So this would be something good to pick up. As far as spells go, starting off before that, like level 10 mark, you're going to be looking at a roll. This is going to help you get away from enemies and help you maneuver around the battlefield. Now, if you're good at dodging and are able to pull this off and want to run hardcore, I know a lot of people run that for hardcore. The next thing is Shockwave. So Shockwave is going to help kind of move enemies away from you and kind of give you some melee boost you're not going to use this too long but lower level when stuff's kind of slower and you're not able to do as much damage and you're kind of getting used to the game definitely something i would recommend definitely something i would recommend the next spell you're going to be using is battle leap battle leap is, it is amazing here let's let's you're going to be maybe using this for a lot of different stuff it does a lot of damage it's really good i would recommend it now going back on over to the gear we have hand wraps so hand wraps is going to help with that attack speed and it's going to help you basically do more damage. So these weapons can either be built for crit, attack speed, or overall damage. It's kind of just a personal preference and how you vibe when you play the game. I cannot tell you one way or another. That is a personal preference. Now the next item we're going to be looking at is the Malefic Jar. Malefic Jar is, I, I love using this thing because every time you kill an enemy or participate in a kill if you're in a group, you're going to get an extra movement speed and you're going to get some more damage so this thing is a must-have until you can get to the upper tiers it's going to help you move faster it's going to help you zigzag it's so much it's so great at level 
19. We have an ability called Burning Blood. This is something you can use with just about any class. Uh, just keep in mind, you are going to take damage when you use this. And it's going to take away your max health. But you're going to get a ton of damage. Some leech life and uh, some attack speed. So if you're really good at timing this or you like Kamikazing and a big group of mobs, be my guest. The next thing, there is a level 20 combat roll, which is a faster cooldown. This is another one I would recommend using helps with the mobility with this class uh since you don't have any range attacks this kind of helps get to the enemies faster it may actually help you clear stuff faster also will let you dodge out of the way of bosses a little bit sooner so i do know this is something that several several people i've seen use though i would highly recommend and i've even started playing with it a little bit and it's been something really good now there is an item called living flame and this is an actually a rare drop and kind of hard to get uh, if you want to go and get Living Flame, which is striking an enemy, uh, deals burn damage. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put this on. Uh, that is entirely up to you. I honestly don't really see a use for it. But again, entirely up to you. Burn damage will take over. And if you have different sources, say two different weapons, uh, it's two different sources of burn. So uh, that's how that can be used. Also at level 22, we're going to get Leather Hand Wraps. So Leather Hand Wraps is going to increase your damage and your attack speed by 21% at the Mythic tier. That's pretty good, okay? <laughs> I'm going to let you know, that's probably one of my more favorite items. And again, the lovely content creator that I have mentioned and put the links down below for, I she uses this and I did, was like, oh my god, this works amazing. So definitely something that I would recommend. The next thing I would recommend is Overwhelm. So Overwhelm is going to to perform a heavy stomp and apply vulnerable to all enemies and deal damage this is really good for bosses because this is going to help you clear them now you don't have to use this but this is an aoe and considering the three classes i'm going to be talking about today don't really have aoe potential much like some of the other melee classes this would be something definitely to look at i would look at this and i've used it and it helps a lot with clearing and kind of just makes life a little bit easier now, we are going to have the ability to get the Thunderstone. I would use this until you are able to get the level 26 and level 27 and level 29 items. Uh, because it's going to give you an increased crit chance and it's going to give you a little extra damage. Honestly, once you are able to get the higher tier stuff, I would kind of remove this. I really don't use this too much personally. I don't feel like it gives enough. Uh, but that's just kind of my personal preference. So, it is entirely up to y'all. Now, the next one up. We're going to go ahead and do the last little bit of the items. There is a new spell icon I want to talk about that um, got brought about in the recent update. That was kind of the reason I was waiting because uh, I wanted to get that item in there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get to Bandit's Axe Head. So this is going to give you attack speed and whenever you receive damage, you do more damage. I, I'm not a big fan of take damage to do more damage. Some people like that. I'm not a big fan of that. That is entirely up to you if you want to use this. Weighted Pummel, if you have a melee class, this is something a must-have. I would recommend trying to get this up as high as possible. Unfortunately, it drops as a common, so it takes a while to get it anywhere. But this is going to give you crit chance, crit damage, and weapon damage overall. And kind of the final item in our lovely, lovely, like, item section is getting the Phantom Plating. So if you didn't know, the bosses in Bandit Castle do fire damage. So you get fire resistance, which is cool, but also whenever you get damage, like you receive damage you get a barrier for five seconds and then you're able to do more damage while the barrier persists and considering this is more of an attack speed build and crit build this is gonna be really really helpful for you okay <laughs> like this is really really good now the last thing i kind of want to talk about with these builds is this new this new ability twin strike so this is a brand new ability that's just come out and basically you dash towards your enemy and strike with your weapons and that's how much damage I deal and then you gain movement speed and attack speed for three seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and get equipped some other stuff just kind of show you all what that looks like uh with the gear that I have okay so there's the stats on it again it's gonna do 1800 damage when I lunge so let's go ahead and take a look at it we can go ahead and check the DPS uh these guys don't have any armor so uh there you go hmm it's actually not that bad not that bad at all with these classes um because they are one-handed if you want to cheese it a little bit and use crossbow wand any of that you can dagger shield sword and shield does really good together because of shields other abilities it has uh because if you're not aware uh if 
you use a shield with a single-handed weapon, you get a plus 15% weapon damage boost, which is really good. So, again, there's a lot of versatile things you can do with these classes. These are not as bad as the class I'm going to finish this video off with because I have... I'm trying to be as neutral about this as possible, but I don't like this class at all. So, let's go ahead and get into the final class and the bane of my existence. Oh, and armor-wise, um, I would recommend... Uh, damage for chest plate and then armor. I would recommend tank until you can get kind of beefy enough of a DPS just so you can get that extra crit and weapon damage. So, also, if you're curious what the skill scroll is, press the attack. Uh, it this is the common form. So if you're not able to get them, there you go. Now spear. Spear was incredibly painful to level because. Spear attacks in a singular direction. It is a cone. And unfortunately, in a lot of this part of this game, you need DPS. You need AoE. You need all kinds of things in order to make this class work well. This was not one of my favorites. It was really painful to level. Most people, most people just get this up to level 20 because of the following reason. Because in order to lock Rapier, which is a really, really good single-handed weapon, uh, you need Spear. So most people just get it up to level 20 and then leave it. Uh, its abilities are kind of okay. You get a plus 5% melee attack speed and you get two-handed weapon damage, which if you're running, you know, Greatsword, any of that, that is something I would recommend. But I, yeah, I didn't find it enjoyable. I don't, I don't know there, there are people that main this, and more power to you, but I know there is much, much better classes you can be using. But, I mean, if that's if that's what you choose to do, that is up to you. Um, it's primary attack, which is basically you're going to stab forward, you deal damage, and each strike that attacks an enemy, it reduces the cooldown, and it grants you movement speed and attack speed for five seconds. So if you can get a bunch of enemies grouped up together, you can do this. However, if anyone in this game has played melee classes, uh, grouping up a bunch of enemies, you're not going to survive very long. So, honestly, <laughs> honestly, get this to 20, leave it, go level up another class. If you can get a group together, come back, level this up. I know there's going to be some people out there that are like, you've done this dirty, I'm sorry. I, I specified in the beginning of the video, I did not like this class. My Discord is very well aware of the bane of my existence with this class. And it's pole arm and great sword is so much easier to level up, so I would recommend doing that. So, plebs, hopefully this was at least helpful. I'm sorry if I ragged on your class too much. And please go check out the lovely content creator that I have down below for you. She is absolutely epic. She does some amazing content, amazing builds, knows how to play melee classes far better than I do. So please go and check her out. So, Clubs, thank you for making it to this part of the video. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.